my question is I have all that background and I teach meditation and uh, and and one of the I love your teachings and I and I use them in teaching my students and whatnot but I also am it seems like there's a lot of truth in the fact that uh, that I'm not a body exactly I'm that which is aware of the body there's a sense of awareness well then through the process of meditation you've managed to accomplish on a regular enough basis the frequency of that broader perspective so you are seen through the eyes of source is what you're describing to us so that's that's what I'm and yet they say well we don't believe in the law of attraction or whatnot and I'm thinking that's just not who doesn't true. who doesn't believe in the law of attraction um, one specific teacher who teaches this kind of thing doesn't believe in the law of attraction, but I don't think he understands it, as frankly. Yeah. It's not possible that he understands it if he doesn't believe in it, because there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of it anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. You can't find something broad enough or narrow enough. You can't find a microcosm. You can't find, there, you can't find anything that isn't full of evidence of law of attraction. I I, <laughs> I agree. I guess probably my question. But in the same way that Esther couldn't find a bright orange <laughs> external hard drive right there in full sight, and she was blind to it because she believed she had misplaced it, because she feared she had misplaced it. So we are not for a moment suggesting that someone might have an opinion that they believe is valid that is different from what we know to be that happens all around to try to convince somebody that what they think is wrong and that what I think is right is really wasted effort because their opinion keeps validating it's a really interesting thing you're gonna like this law of attraction keeps proving to them that there is no law of attraction <laughs> it's and genius this, and this seems true even though they seem from everything I've seen to be what could be called enlightened they do have that real connection with source and yet they don't see law of attraction is that uh, it's, uh, it's just sort of a mystery to me I guess I'm well, we wouldn't uh, spend too much time worrying about what anybody else is doing yeah I'm just I have multiple teachers and and I'm trying to come to a, a sense of what fe what feels right is that good yeah, is both way. your teaching and their teaching in the sense of how that connects with source and and I guess that's where I'm going now is well listen for the things that they say that resonate with you and receive the benefit of it and there are a lot of them yeah and listen to the things everywhere that resonate with you in other words that's really what that feeling of resonance is when you hear something that your source knows to be you feel the resonance of it that's the resonance that you feel and so there are many momentums in other words Esther was on a momentum of it's difficult to find someone on short notice to help her out in her house and so that was the momentum that she had going and so law of attraction just showed her what her belief was and amplified it and in the process gave her an opportunity to decide if she wanted to begin practicing a different belief because whatever belief she is practicing is what the law of attraction is going to bring to her you see and so we're not calling it good bad right or wrong we're just calling it wanted or unwanted preferred or not preferred and so everybody gets to decide what they want so law of attraction is just the best way that we can find to explain to you how it is that you're getting what you're getting because most people don't even know how it is they're getting what they're getting they have habits of thought that they've been thinking so long that feel so normal and are oftentimes validated by so much evidence around them that then they conclude that it's true so they will say this is a truth I don't want it but it is true and we were wanting people to understand that whatever you have been giving your attention to as an individual or even as a mass consciousness if you practice the vibration of it long enough it will become true evidence will fill in around it to support it you see 
and that's the thing that is so confounding Esther argued with us about this quite a bit in the beginning she would say well I know that you don't think I should be talking or thinking about this but it is true it is true and therefore I've been taught to be objective Abraham I've been taught to weigh the pros and the cons to weigh the pluses and the minuses in order to make a decision and so when I see something that is true I think that maybe I should shine a spotlight on it as a truth that maybe others might want to recognize and we say but there's another thing that we would factor into that and that is is this a truth that you want to keep supporting is this a truth that you would like to keep perpetuating is it a wanted truth or an unwanted truth that's a distinction that many people are not understanding because you have the ability Jesus said turn the other cheek and it's exactly what he was talking about do not continue to give your attention to that which is unwanted because in your attention to unwanted you will continue to perpetuate it so turn the other cheek turn in opposition look at the other end of the stick because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want so give your attention to what is wanted and be an advocate a proponent a perpetuator of that you see so we never ever want to argue with anyone about the truth or the validation that life is giving them because when you believe something life will show you not that it's right or wrong and not that others should be living but life will show you it's your vibrational offering and here is evidence of what your vibrational offering is so then the question is and it's really what we bring to the party as we are interacting with so many of you we ask the question is this thing that you believe is true and therefore that you're giving quite a bit of attention to is it something that you want more of in your life experience if it is then talk about it a lot get right down to detail keep it active in your vibration and law of attraction will keep momentum coming to you to validate that truth but we want to ask the question why would you want to validate and perpetuate truths that you don't want to live and how would you know you don't want to live it because there is a source this consciousness this, this enlightenment this energy that you're talking about there is a source energy that knows everything that you've been asking for it's the best of all that all of us have become and it stands in this vibrational attitude and altitude of high frequency it is a vibration that you can feel if you care about how you feel you can feel for it so as you start tuning yourself to that frequency you feel better and better in fact negative emotion could not exist if there were not separation from that higher frequency negative emotion is the indicator in any moment that your thought your opinion your belief your practiced vibration that is active right now this red hot minute negative emotion that you are feeling always means that the thought that you're thinking right now is way 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 off what the source within you knows about the same subject that's why when you hate someone it feels so awful because source is not hating that person and source is looking right where you're looking in this very moment and offering a vibrational attitude about it when you find the vibrational attitude that source is offering in this moment you feel the resonance of source that's when you feel clarity that's when you feel love that's when you feel joy that's when you feel well-being you see so when you understand that source is not dictating what you should want but source knows what life has caused you to want you as an individual and you as collective consciousness you want to be an uplifter and when you are not being you feel bad because you have deviated from who you are not from something that source has assigned to you not from something that was preordained that you were supposed to discover or accomplish but something that you have evolved to that now you are stepping back from this is a thing that most humans do not understand you have evolved to consciousness that is love you see and when you deviate from the love that you have come to you feel awful law of attraction will give you evidence of your deviation because law of attraction is not discerning whether it's right or wrong law of attraction is just amplifying whatever you've got going on vibrationally and isn't that just the perfect universe to live in don't you just love knowing that when you are offering a vibration that evidence of the vibration that you're offering is coming back to you and don't you further love knowing that you can tell in every moment whether you are in alignment with the whole of that which you've become or whether you have not 
so this is not a conversation about right or wrong it's not a conversation about right teachings and wrong teachings this is a conversation about resonating with the fullness of who you are understanding that law of attraction is letting you know all day every day what you got going on vibrationally that's why we explain to you that your whole guidance system your whole emotional guidance system is all based upon who you have become and who you're being right now there are these two frequencies that are playing off of one another or blending together so the more source like you are the better you feel the less source like you are the worse you feel so you're moving through life and you're expanding you're asking for this and this and this and source is becoming it and becoming it and becoming it and when you deny yourself it when you deprive yourself of it you feel that diminished feeling you see and law of attraction is just this neutral blessed perfect manager of vibrations law of attraction is the manager of vibrations that makes it possible for you to tune your radio dial to 101 FM and hear what's being broadcast from that signal that's law of attraction law of attraction is just the organizer and the manager not the decider not the arbitrator not the judge of the rightness or the wrongness of your vibration just a pure responder to your vibration so there are two parts to this deliberate creation business first you got to understand that law of attraction is giving you feedback blessed joyous feedback for what reason so that you can choose the vibration that is resonant with all that you've become when you feel negative emotion it isn't because you've done something wrong it's because you expanded and you're not keeping up you could be going freely you could be going freely but you're not because you're holding to a belief that no longer applies you're smarter than that you know more than that you see that's the Kinda. best discussion we've had about law of attraction ever that was the best discussion we've had about your emotional guidance system ever that's the best understanding of what the art of allowing really is it's the best discussion about vibration and the energy flow ever and the reason we say the best is because you were right there understanding every word of it every step along the way Can we're really really smart <laughs> <laughs> and and we could tell you things that you couldn't even begin to understand but we would not call that the best discussion the best discussion is when we find a way of speaking it to you in a way that you feel the resonance of your being with the truth of who you really are lots of ways to skin the cat but any way you do it the cat doesn't like it very much <laughs> that was Jerry's contribution part of it